What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy, Hood's Billionaire. Welcome to Hood's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we got Book Club Sundays. Book Club Sundays. Um, today's book we are going to be going over is J. Prince, The Art and Science of Respect. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so this was a really good book. Um, shout out to J. Prince. Um, I've been living in Houston for over 15 years, and Jay Prince's name definitely holds weight in these Houston streets. Um, always, you know, a lot of lore around his name and his brand and the whole rap a lot um, camp and the whole rap a lot movement. Um, definitely a really, really knowledgeable man. Um, you know what I mean? Definitely rooted in just being a solid, you know, man and human being. Um, and every time I've ever seen. You know, Jay Prince, he definitely is somebody that um, it stands on building the community up and not turning the community down. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't do a lot of low vibrational shit. You know what I'm saying? Just the lack of control and lack of sense. You know, you can tell he comes from a place of logic and understanding, you know, when dealing when dealing with people. Um, but definitely solid. Um, so... The book pretty much starts off from his humble beginnings. You know, he 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 started out humble. Um, he grew up in you know poor beginnings. Um, then it you know spoke on uh, how his sister died and she uh, died in a train accident. Um, a train hit her, um, and he even saw like you know some like her some of her body parts. You know what I mean? Like it was it was it was deep. You know what I'm saying? It was deep. Um, you know, and, um, talked about drug abuse in his family, you know, people in his family stealing from him, you know, he had to, this is, you know, why he was hustling, talked about, you know, some of the lessons that he learned, he worked at this grocery store, and a guy had told him to, um, you know, if he took some groceries to the car and hit him in his car, they can split them up afterwards and take the groceries home, you know what I'm saying, amongst each other, but then, the, you know, guy got caught, they asked him where the groceries was, and he just blamed it on Jay Prince, and Jay Prince was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't snitch. He ain't tell. He just was like, oh, he did. But, you know, he ended up getting off of the situation. And then he just learned from that point on, like, man, you can't trust everybody. Like, everybody don't have your best interest at heart. You feel what I'm saying? Talked about his time in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Jay Prince is a real street nigga. He definitely was in them streets. This is just fact. You know what I'm saying? This is historical fact. He was in the streets tough, he was getting money, and he did what most niggas in the 70s, 80s, and 90s did, most dope boys did, because they just were intelligent and understood how this shit worked. They took their dope money and invested in a business, typically like a barber shop, you know what I'm saying, or a fucking car wash or something like that, so, you know what I'm saying, he had a car lot, you know what I'm saying, he, he started the car lot, the car lot was doing good. Um, then he, you know, he put a studio in the car lot and he started to, you know, build this rap a lot brand. He started to build the brand. Um, and you know, he's just talking about how the people that are meant to go with you, you know, they'll stick with you and the people that aren't, they won't. So he's just talking about how a lot of people like flowed in and out during that time. You know what I'm saying? And, um, talked about like, you know, the bigger he got, how like the police were after him and the FBI and like they were like literally like following this man, sending assassins after him. But Jay Prince was making some real power moves. You feel what I'm saying? At one point he was going to do a distribution company with Shug, Irv Gotti, and I want to say it was uh, Master P. Like all four of them were going to go in on a, on a distribution company. Um, and then the feds, they got Irv Gotti, uh, Shug ended up going to jail, um, and the feds were after, um, Jay Prince, and Jay Prince had to use some of his, uh, political affiliations, like, just making smart moves, like, he would donate to political campaigns, and then, like, when this fed situation hit, because it was crooked officers and crooked federal, you know, agents after Jay Prince, and they were trying to, like, plant shit on him, you feel what I'm saying, like, he used his political affiliations to bring light to the situation and bag the guys off, you know what I'm saying? And the, uh, and the agents that were after him ended up going to jail for a lot of, for some crooked shit that they was doing and crooked cases, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to get people in rap a lot to tell on Jay and all type of shit. They was doing all type of like backhanded shit, you feel what I'm saying? So it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, um, 
you know, Jay, Jay just, you know, he stood with it and, you know, talked about how when he bought his estate and the way he bought it and he how it already was, it was a huge estate and they produced hay on the estate and that hay that was produced on the estate made like $700,000 a year. So he was, by, the house really was an asset right out the gate because it pretty much just paid for itself with the hay production but you know he turned into a cattle farm all type of stuff you know jay prince is a boss he got a lot of acres he he been a boss you know what i'm saying so he went that route with it you know what i'm saying talked about that talked about helping to build his church you know what i'm saying at first he took that down payment and he helped his church build you know how them blessings came back so he kind of you know that universal law what you give out you know comes back and he was able to get it you know get the get the house um, talked about his, you know, boxing prowess and how he, his great negotiation skills, his time in boxing management, and he's still in boxing management, but, you know, some of the great fighters that he had, um, from Floyd Mayweather, talked about how he mi just barely missed out on Mike Tyson, how he had Floyd Mayweather, how he had Andre Ward, um, kind of some of the negotiations him and Andre Ward went through, and some of the growing pains him and Andre Ward had, um, now, you know, uh, you got Shakur Stevenson now, I believe, so, you know, he always been that guy, you know what I'm saying, and, um, just, just a, just a really, really, you know, really good book, man, like I said, he talked about a lot of, a lot of different situations in the book that you can learn from, um, just like dealing with label execs and dealing with, you know, and how, you know, respect and standing on your word, you know what I'm saying, and just having good, a good moral foundation never fucking nobody over never lying on nobody never lying to nobody like pretty much said like you know if if you can you know you stay within that mode of just you know being solid as a human being like god gonna take care of the rest so you know you see how that's worked out for him you know talked about how drake how jazz went and got drake his son jazz and he kind of just didn't understand drake at first you know because it wasn't the music he was accustomed to but once he took off he kind of got it and understood it so you know just you know uh, jay prince's life's been blessed you know what i'm saying he been he put out a lot of good energy you know i i love jay prince he wanted to you know the the smarter gangsters in this in this shit that they be you know in that culture on that spectrum of the culture you feel what I'm saying? For for a nigga to play, he's in that boss role. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely one of the more intelligent. Uh, gives a lot of credits to books. Um, I believe uh, the Napoleon Hill. Um, he, Napoleon Hill is one of his favorite uh, authors. And um, he, just, he just solid, man. You know what I'm saying? So, man, shout out to Jay Prince, man. You know, that's a good book. Y'all should check it out, man. The Art and Science of Respect. Um, definitely a good good read. Like I said, I like audio books, so I listen to it. But it was it's a fantastic book. Um, it's a lot of good game in there, man. So y'all check it out. But y'all and after y'all check it out, y'all let me know in the comments. And if you already read it, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. It's the guy who's being there. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the guy who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.